Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Jordan Ari here and today we are going to edit this picture that we have up on the screen. And we're just gonna do an end-to-end -end edit. We're gonna start with Capture One, move to Photoshop, and then export it and share this video to YouTube. It sounds pretty easy. We're on quarantine day, 50 teen. So we just doing stuff because we bored in the house and we in the house of bored. So I figure hop back on YouTube. I'm about to be more consistent this time. At least I'm gonna try. Make sure that you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. We're gonna be doing a full retouch on this bad boy. So let's hop into it. Let's hop over to Capture One. All right, so we are in Capture One and this is the raw photo, I think. Let's see, I'm gonna... We are, yeah, uh, did I do anything? I did, okay, so I have already made a little bit of changes to it. But we're gonna go back to the beginning. What this photo looked like straight out of camera. I was practicing my lighting skills with this picture when I did this shoot. I took a couple lighting classes because we're always trying to better ourselves, right? So I took a couple lighting classes and went ahead and got these amazing shots, which I love. I think they look great right out of camera, but there are a few things that I like to do when I'm in Capture One. I like to play with my levels a bit because I like to have like really bright highlights. I think it looks cool. I don't typically play with contrast that much. Uh, let's see, I like to come over here and just get my light fall off all good. Lately, I've been doing this thing where I like to add greens into my photos. So we're adding a little greens into the highlights. Just a little bit, just a little bit. All right. Let's look at this before and after. I kind of like it. I don't feel like we need to do a lot. I'm gonna darken my blacks a little bit. All right, I think I'm happy with this. Usually I might play with the color a little bit, but there's not that much color in here. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up in Photoshop. So right click, edit with Photoshop, boom. Let's get this in Photoshop so we can get in. Today we are gonna be really focusing on skin. We're gonna remove a couple things. I'm not breaking things down. I'm not getting super detailed with what I'm doing. Just try to follow along as best you can. If you have questions, slide in my DMs on Instagram or comment down below or you can just join one of my photography classes because we go real in depth on how you can get smooth, creamy skin with a beautiful texture. If you aren't able to follow along here, I'm gonna show you though how I do it all. I always start with duplicating my background layers. Just a number one step for me. And I'm just gonna go in real quick with this zoom, with this, uh, what is this tool called? <laughs> Spot healing brush tool. And we're just gonna do a little cleanup. We're gonna do a fast edit. How fast can we make this edit happen? Just got a little eyelash glue. You know, we're doing a fast edit. We're not even gonna worry about that. We're not gonna get too into details today, Jordan. I usually spend about 20 to 30 minutes on a photo. If I'm like being really in the details with the skin, um, it could take a little longer. Or if there's like a lot of things that I have to remove or something in the photo, then it could take me longer. But I feel like this should take no longer than 20 minutes. I swear to you, in my opinion, I mean, my humble opinion, I think it looks good straight out of camera. We all have imperfections that could be cleaned up in post, but nonetheless, this picture was gorgeous. She's gorgeous. And yeah, I think she doesn't need that much work. Honestly, her skin is great. She has no freaking makeup on. This is no makeup. All right. Done with that, I did have this little C-stand in the picture still. We're just gonna patch tool that out. Boom, 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 real quick. Just get that out of there. And boom. All right, so oh, there's a little spot over here. Bam, let's get that out. Now we can move on to skin. And we are going to run through my skin action. We are working with high frequency separation 16 bit because we are working with a 16 bit file and it is time for us to blur the skin. So we're gonna click, we are going to select continue. And I like to look at the skin, get real close and see once these pores are blown, blurred out or all the texture is blurred out, then that's a number that I usually will select. And I think for this picture, I like to work with like a number 
2.2 looks pretty good. I just don't wanna be able to see any texture. I can still see a little texture on her forehead. So I'm going to bring that up a bit. All right, let's go with 6.8. I'm okay with that. So when I'm looking for that blur number, I'm really just trying to blur out the texture. All right, now I'll say continue. What that was just telling me was that we're gonna work on the skin color layer with our mixer brush and our texture layer with the clone stamp tool, uh, healing brush tool, spy healing brush tool, patch tool, whatever you so choose. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and turn off our, our texture layer. And let's go to our mixer brush on that skin color layer and boom, let's go ahead and start smoothing out the color. I always like to work with a big brush and this one's pretty easy. She has really nice skin. So this is like a pretty easy skin cleanup. I like to finish a specific area and then move to the next area. And I'm always trying to just stay on that skin, not trying to blend like backgrounds and things onto the skin. All right, so let's see how I've done. Before, after, before, after. So her skin is looking good to me. It's looking real good. And lately I've been getting this thing in my background. I don't know what this is about. So in order to not get that thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this mask to selection. That way I don't have to recreate my selection. And we're just gonna add a layer mask to this whole group. That way it doesn't show up. So we can still only see the work that's on the skin. Cause in this layer down here, I had only the skin selected. And that's the only thing that's showing. And we only want the skin to show for this high frequency separation layer or group. So now um, I'm just gonna come down and do her shoulder neck area a little bit. All right, so I'm happy with the way her skin looks. If we do a little turn it off, turn it back on. She looking real creamy, real good to me. All right, if you guys don't know how to use high frequency separation, guess what? You are in luck. You will get the high frequency separation retouching action for free today. Um, but there are other actions that come in that action pack, which is the standard retouching action pack. So you won't have all of them, but you will have the high frequency separation action. All right, I'm not gonna do dodge and burn. I'm gonna do the cheat. So dodge and burn cheat action comes in that pack. And basically it just does a little cheat for you. So it darkens your darks and you it brightens your highlights. So we can do that. But I always come in and adjust it for each picture. So I'm going to, Click on burn because I feel like the blacks are a little bit too black and this came up on the other side so I need to cancel this. Uh, so I feel like the blacks are a little too black so I'm going to bring the opacity down on that. We already had pretty dark blacks before. I like how it brightens the whites, dodges the whites but it's a little too much. I just like a little subtle so I think that looks good. And then I also have this retouching panel and I like to bump up the highlights here by masking them. Uh, let's go ahead and do the plus. So I always, I, sometimes I pick the plus, sometimes I pick the minus, it just depends. And then I'll test it out and see how it looks. Okay, let's see. This gives it a nice little, a nice little bump. So let's bring that up down a little bit though. I like that, I'm happy with it. All right, now we're gonna look at her teeth. We're gonna do a little teeth whitening. This also comes in that action pack for the standard uh, retouching actions. And all you have to do with this action pack is get your brush tool and paint white on the layer mask. Super easy. And look at how white it gets her teeth. Perfect, I love it. All right. So boom, before, after. So now we got some white teeth in there. And now we're gonna put a little color vibe on it. I did purchase the actions from Prince Mason. He's also here on YouTube. I 
really like these skin actions. I can't even lie to y'all. They are bomb. I use the light skin ones for the dark skin people, the dark skin ones for the light skin people. I use whatever for whoever, whatever looks good to me on that day. And I know which ones I like. I really like the MSL3. I really like MSL7. And I like 10. I think I like 9 as well. And I just go through all of them usually and I just pick the one that I like. It works really good on pictures with neutral tones. It works well on pictures with color as well, but I love the way it works on pictures with neutral tones. I like how this uh, Signature Skin Tone 3 bumped up the highlights. Like, I don't know, I'm big on bumping up highlights and it, I like giving like that dark black girl magic. Like that's the vibe of most of my pictures. So that's what these, let's give me and I'm here for them and I'm about to try to pick the best one takes me a little second all right I like this one I think this is the best okay and you guys see I brought my opacity down to 28% and do I, need this? I feel like my teeth are a little too bright so I'm going to bring the opacity down on this okay actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to a black brush and bring my flow on my brush down and I'm just going to paint some of this color back in I really like to play to use flow because flow builds okay so I like that better it brings back some of the white in her teeth or some of that color in her teeth alrighty and boom so let's see what else might I do to this picture Nope, not another curves layer. Sometimes I just like to brighten my pictures because I'm so, I, I do such a bad job sometimes at making my pictures too dark. And, ooh, no, 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 we don't want that. I think that these darks are too dark, so I'm gonna turn off this burn layer altogether. I'm actually just gonna delete it out of that. Okay. And I'm like, do I need all of this? Uh, all right, I think I'm happy with how this looks. I didn't do too much with coloring today. Uh, let's see, one last thing. I might look at my neutrals and bring a little color into them. Let me see, hold on. No, I wanna bring yellow into it, but I can't remember what color has yellow. Okay, none of that. So let's just use our color palette. You know what, I don't want to bring yellow, I want to bring green. Just like a real little bit. I don't know, I've been liking this green in my pictures lately. Just a little touch. I don't know, it does something nice to me. Okay, now the last step that I would do is I will Go to my actions and use my finishing noise action. All of my actions that I've used today do come in my action pack, which is available for $25 on my website. That will be linked down below as well. But this finishing noise, you see how we have the banding around the photo? All it does is add a little bit, just a real, real little bit of noise to your photo. And that way it removes all of your banding and it gives the skin a little Green. I like it um, so if you look at before and after that noise removes the banding so perfectly I don't know what it is about it that does it but it removes it all right so now we have our finished photo I'm happy with it I'm going to file save that way it'll save back to our capture one file let's look at our before and after in capture one so here's our before and here's our after. Well, this is our capture one on the left right now, but this is our before before and this is our after. So, you know, we just got some smooth skin. We removed some things. We cleaned up that background. We gave it a little glowy glow and now we have our finished photo. I'm happy with it. My camera is so rudely cut out on me, but this is the final photo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you tag me in your photos that you retouch and make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next upload peace